Ooh. I would be a terrible actor. You'd be fine, bro. I would be like, how does Brad Pitt do it? <laughs> how does Brad Pitt do it? <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Should I have this in it? Sure, what do we prefer? Unsponsored. Unsponsored. What is it up, Trexamo? My name is Jack Shea. I'm a senior here at Northern Arizona University, and this is a week of my training. So Monday mornings, early, we just hit a circuit um, with Coach Flugrad. She goes easy on us, everybody's tired. Um, then we head out for a run. Uh, we hit uh, Lake Mary, uh, Icy Lake Mary, um, for about eight miles, and a um, nice group run. Headed back to the track, hit mobility, hit drills, hit some wickets. Um, if you don't know what wickets are, wickets are like mini hurdles um, when we're practicing uh, running fast. And, uh, we're some slow twitch guys. Um, so uh, after those wickets, um, we just head home and we'll get ready for the next run. All right, Tuesday workout. Um, we hit some VO2 on the indoor track inside the dome uh, for the last time, uh, in the last time in my career where I hit the dome for a workout. Um, we did uh, five sets of two by 800 um, with 90 seconds rest, three minutes between the sets um, with four times 200 at R. Uh, we were running around like 220s and then working out as like 210s, you know? And then for the 200s, we were running really smoking fast, you know, somewhere between 30. Last time in the dome, it was, uh, I'm gonna miss that, those, those dirty lanes. In the afternoon of Tuesday's workout, uh, I ran a little shakeout on the woodway, um, a nice seven and a half miles around seven flat pace. Um, that it wasn't uh, a great shakeout, that was like another run. Um, just trying to hit some mileage in, because it's March, March miles. Um, ran on the treadmill until things got pretty boring. Midweek long run. So Wednesday mornings we head out for the midweek long run. Um, so it's just like a little bit longer than um, the Thursdays and Monday runs, um, and somewhere you know between you know 12, 14 miles. Um, some of us will, will do 16. Maybe just one of us will do 16. Uh, we're off. And. Uh, yeah, we usually um, you know head out in Lake Mary in the winter. Um, it's the only place we can we can really go. Um, and uh, so this Wednesday we we hit Lake Mary, um, 12 miles or 7:30 pace. Um, and this is my favorite run of the week because after we get done, we hit the weight room, um, which is like my domain. Um, if you can't tell, uh, here um, in the weight room we, we usually just do uh, like injury prevention stuff and then. Uh, towards the end, I just hit out about like 80, 90 bicep curls until it's you know, ready to go. That's our baby. Do you actually do 80 90 bicep curls? <laughs> I do, I do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, recovery Thursdays. Uh, so in the morning, we do somewhere between eight or nine miles. Uh, not nine. Uh, we, can't, we can't actually do odd numbers. We don't, we don't do that here. Uh, so either eight or ten. Um, if you do run an odd number, and then you just lie in your, in your log, say you did even one. Um, that's how you get a coach's good side. Um, I ran ten on this particular day. I ran North Trail. Um, we uh, when we got back, um, we hit some mobility, some drills, and some hill sprints um, right outside the track. And. Uh, then me and Brody played ping pong for about like an hour and I lost every game by at least 10. And I'm a good ping pong player. So it's a, it was a little dispiriting. Um, going into a Friday's workout and you, you, you lose ping pong by about like 10 points a game, you feel, I mean, you don't feel good about yourself. You know, I'm not feeling confident going into Friday's workout because Brody's just slapping me around and ping pong left and right. And if it's not Brody, it's raw. If it's not raw, it's somebody else, you know, so, um, let's, let's talk about Friday's workout. Mm -hmm. 
the next day um, was the NCAA championships. Um, I was not there in Birmingham. I was I was uh, I was here uh, on a mission to set the tone. So to set the tone. Uh, we hit out a sub T on the Woodways um, in the new high performance center. Um, I did a 10 mile sub T around uh, 540 pace. Uh, nothing nothing too hot, um, but it was hot in the room. It was very hot. It was like scorching. I was like I was I sweat up a storm. Um, we called it the sweatshop in there. Um, we don't know what altitude it was in there. Um, you know, it was a million degrees, but we got in. We got in the run. Um, set the tone um, for Abdi Hamid, Nico, and Drew in the afternoon. Um, Abdi Hamid ended up winning the uh, men's 5K, and uh, uh, Nico got third, and Drew got eighth for a total of 17 points. Um, all three of them getting all American, so that was a uh, that was a great afternoon. Um, I did not hit a double that day. Oh, I actually did. So Saturday's long run. Um, somebody's got to set the tone for the 3K. You know, uh, Nico and Abby Hamlet are still in the 3K. So we hit. We head down to uh, Sedona. Uh, Beaver Creek for 20 miles, um, 6.51 pace, 2 hours and 17 minutes. Um, it was nice and warm down there, I think. Um, and uh, in the afternoon, Abdi Hamid won the 3K, uh, defended the straights. Um, and this was this is a this is a grand performance by Abdi Hamid and Nico. And Nico got eighth, um, and we got fourth at the national championship so we podiumed um, so it's so a great weekend for NAU athletics um, you know the, the men back home uh, were really proud of the gentleman racing that weekend Sunday morning um, I headed out for a five mile run at 8:30 pace um, just around Flagstaff listen to music have my shades on uh, feeling kind of trash by the weekend, um, but uh, high spirits going into the next week. So that's a typical training week here at Northern Arizona University. Um, just because you run 100 mile a week doesn't make you a 100 mile guy. Um, I I probably hit around like like mid 80s most of the time. This week being the national championship week, um, we really believe on this team that uh, everybody's um, general energy and uh, how they put the work in um, affects how people race. Um, so um, with the gentlemen racing at the national championship, um, it's a really big deal for us at home to uh, set the tone and, uh, and keep good energy guys the right support so um, when they hop on the line they feel confident they feel as if everybody's on the same page um, and I think that's why they perform so well thank you Trexmo for having me on this video uh, that's a typical week here at Northern Arizona University